Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Connie and my channel is Connie Snells and Creative Creations. I am taking part in a challenge and the challenge is called Chic for Cheap DIY Challenge. And the hosts, the hosts are Christy Creates and White Sparrow Living Luke 12-6. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this um, this video. I it's out of stuff that um, was free, so I hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, so this was my entry into the challenge. It is made out of two old Corona bottles a beer that I found in my basement when I moved into it last year. So I took Mod Podge and I covered both bottles. The paint will stick to it much better if you use Mod Podge. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm doing, now after it's all dry, I'm taking burnt umber acrylic paint and I'm covering both bottles and I end up doing two coats to get a complete opaque full coverage on these bottles. Then I take this um, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree that has lace and I go ahead and I hot glue it right in the center of that bottom portion of the bottle. So once I get that done, I fold that last little part under and I completely secure it to the bottle. Then I grab some jute and I use hot glue and I hook it and I go around several times to cover the complete top of the bottle. I ended up uh, getting about 25 of those bottles. I found them in a cabinet in the basement among some other cool finds. And so I love using these other than a little bit of ribbon and jute and then some scrapbooking paper that I'll use on the next one that I've had for many years and some glue, that's a Mod Podge, that's about it. Okay, so now I grab the other one. First I figure out how much I want to cut it. So I mark it and I go with my cutter and I go ahead and I cut two, like one strip and then I cut it, measure around the bottle and then I figure out where I need to cut it again. Go ahead and get that cut. Then I grab the um, bottle and the Mod Podge again and I just cover that center portion where that paper is going to go. But what I f for didn't realize is I had my fan blowing and it was hitting me and bouncing down onto the um, bottle. So it was, it was drying really super fast. And then I realized I didn't get it lined up. So I take all the paper back off and I turned the fan away and I covered it really, really good again with Mod Podge. And then I lay the bottle right in the center and pull it around and then it lines up perfectly. Then I completely cover the outside of the bottle, the paper and the whole bottle, because I don't want the paint to be chipping off if it bumps into anything it can do that if it's not sealed and this is really really thick paper 
I didn't have any bubbling at all. I just had to make sure there was no gaps so no moisture or air could get between the paper and the bottle. Okay, so I took the other bottle and I went ahead and I put Mod Podge on the whole bottle except for where the ribbon was and the jute. I should have done it prior, but you know how things go. Sometimes you just forget. So I went ahead and got that all covered. And by the time I got that finished, the other bottle was just about dry so I could add the jute to it. Okay. I missed some spots I saw down at the bottom, so I went ahead and got that all filled. And now I've got the jute, and I'm going to wrap it around that other bottle. I hope you guys like this. I think these are very chic especially coming from a beer bottle. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a big thumbs up. You guys have a great day. God bless.